says, what is the perimeter of this triangle? Since this triangle has a right angle and a 30 degrees, we know it's a 30, 60, 90. Every 30, 60, 90 triangle follows the same set of rules. If this is the 30, this is the 60, and the 90. If you call this side X, the hypotenuse is always double the shorter side, and the longer leg is always square root of 3 times X. So these are the generic forms. If we redraw the triangle we have here to align with this one, notice that the 2X is the hypotenuse. Well, in this case, it's 2 root 3 is opposite our 90 degrees. So now opposite the 30 needs to be half of that because we're going from 2x to x. Well, half of 2 root 3 is just root 3. Then to get from the shorter leg to the longer leg, we multiply by square root of 3, x times square root of 3. So it's going to be square root of 3 times square root of 3, which is equal to 3. So now we can just fill in our missing pieces. Opposite the 30, this is square root of 3. And over here is 3. And now we can just add this stuff up. 3 plus 2 root 3 plus root 3. And 2 root 3 plus root 3 is 3 root 3, because there's an implied 1 in front. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 3. And that is the answer for the perimeter of this triangle. So ultimately, we used the 30, 60, 90 triangle rules. So if this makes sense, please like and subscribe. Check out andymath.com for more videos and study guides. I'll talk to you guys soon.